Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I do want to jump right into it today, uh, but first I'd like to welcome anyone who is new here and let you all know that I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. I've also been adding in Wednesday readings. I've been doing a money and career reading, but I'm going to have additional bonus readings during the months of November and December on Wednesday. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, it does something to the algorithm. So people see this reading and trust me, I get the least amount of views on Libra. I don't know why, but it's like insanely less. I feel like I've done something to offend the, the algorithm or something. But anyway, the other thing it will do is when those Wednesday readings come out, it'll show those to you in your own algorithm. All right. What advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Libra? Messages for Libra, please. All right, we are going to lay out the tarot, and then I'm going to pull a moonology manifestation oracle card to Bring the whole thing together. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Luxury card, the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, Temperance, the Archangel Michael, the Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and, well, I feel like you're like a detective here, some kind of a case you're about to crack, but let's see here. What, what else do you need to know? What else does Libra need to know, please. All right, you have last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind, but isn't that a beautiful backdrop? So I do feel like with this seven of swords and five of pentacles, I don't feel like that's you leaving. I almost feel like it's somebody who gets caught doing something and kind of does a walk of shame is what I'm getting. So maybe somebody around you, if you catch somebody taking your things or trying to, I just feel like you're not going to be, you are not going to be fooled in this reading, okay? You have very strong energies, but um, the between the, the high priestess and the emperor too, the high priestess always can has like an, a, an internal lie detector. She can detect a lie immediately and the emperor will not back down. So I do feel like if you catch somebody doing something, it's going to be off. It's just not a, you know, if it's an overbilling and it seems intentional, they take something of yours. I'd watch your possessions a bit. Don't want to make anyone paranoid. But with the nine of pentacles, you have money coming in here. And so just make sure you're not a, a soft target, as they say in my neighborhood. Um, so I do feel like with this, though, you have a good, a great reading here, so I don't want to get too overshadowed. But when the cards try to warn you, I feel like that's important because it doesn't always happen. And, you know, the tarot, as I always say, is your best friend who always tells you the truth. So I do feel like with this, you're going to be sitting pretty. That nine of pentacles is money coming in, but it's also to the card of luxury. So anything you purchase or if you've had your eye on something, a Gucci belt maybe, or, you know, some high-end luxury good, I feel like you're getting it here. Now, I also want to tell you too, on the mundane level, and usually somebody tries to argue, but it's true. Trust me, you can look it up. Um, the So the, the Archangel Michael uh, is the angel of repair. It can be healing and repair in a relationship, but it also can be a repair on the mundane level. If you need a repair at your house, maybe the furnace sounds a little funny or there's a car repair, but it's the, it's an angel coming in. It's a guardian angel. So I feel like you won't get cheated or ripped off with that. But I do feel like you may have to kind of watch out. And that may also be the guidance. The Archangel Michael is guiding and protecting you. So if you catch somebody, I feel like you, ha you catch them with their hand in the cookie jar is what I'm getting, that you it's this, okay? You've got this energy of protection coming in big time because the emperor too is the father of the tarot. And so he looks out for you no matter what. And so even if your dad's mad at you, he still will, you know, I mean, depending on the kind of dad you had, I guess I didn't have the greatest one. So, but anyway, let's say a, a normal father, a good father would look out for you. All right. With this nine of pentacles here, 
She is the single lady card. So if you are in the market, I feel like, again, that lie detector tech is lie detector inside will go off immediately as needed. So you will not get into anything that you do not belong in. But I do feel like you get attention. Now, I also feel like you have someone quite straightforward coming in. You do have healing and love here and you have a life partner here as well. But whoever it is, they're very upright. They're very straightforward. They may do something with law or they may have a previous military background or even like I get like some type of a really strict school environment. And I don't feel like it was like they were sent there as a punishment. It doesn't feel like it was a, like a facility. It feels like a school, like somebody had some kind of training or something. That's what I feel like you're bringing in. But it's definitely somebody trustworthy. And I also feel like, too, they're very much self-sufficient. So I get kind of a nine of pentacles with them, too, that they are fit in all the areas, financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually fit. And so they're not desperate or needy either. Now, if you're already in a relationship, again, you've got money coming in here. And so I do feel like with the Seven of Swords, there's something about this. And it can be sloppy. It can be somebody that's just careless in terms of what they do. Their records aren't the greatest. But it also, too, I also get it as somebody trying to kind of pull a fast one. And so if it's something at your job, too, if you catch some theft, and even if you work in healthcare, which that can happen, sometimes it takes a little while if it's a big medical facility to catch this kind of crap. But I mean, it can be a major deal. And so I do feel like whatever it is that you're seeing here, whoever this is for, I feel like it's like you you will handle it in a way that hopefully it kind of goes under the radar like the, um, you know, because we don't want the attention on you, right, as if it's a whistle blowing kind of thing. Now, I also feel like, too, though, if it's on a smaller scale, you know, it's not some huge, like, felony offense. If it's something on a personal level, I do feel like you may be a bit more direct, a bit more of the emperor kind of energy. But with the energy of the high priestess, this is all about trusting your instincts, following your intuition. She's the card of the psychic. Now, I do have to point out, so her robe, I, I always point this out, but I like it when it comes in all different forms. Her robe turns to water. And it flows through the car to the emperor. And then eventually it makes this great big pool. And so when you see this coming in, this pool of consciousness, you're in flow. You are connected to the divine. You have a new cycle coming in. And so for some, you may kind of analyze. You may analyze quite a bit before you take any action and make sure that you're right. But I also feel like, too, if you're making a job change or a move, Again, this will serve you well because you don't do anything impulsively. Not like the Seven of Swords. I feel like you're dealing with an impulsive energy, but that is not your energy. I don't get it that way at all. In terms of vetting a relationship, again, you're not in any huge hurry here. And so what that does for you is it brings in stability and it allows you to make the best possible choices. Prima materia, matter comes from the mind. And so you definitely have with this energy of the High Priestess secrets coming out. Somebody is going to get brought out into the light. And if it's somebody that lied to you, because whoever it is with the Seven of Swords, is they're careless, but they're also dishonest. I feel like you're going to kind of sit back and watch things unfold. And so with the Temperance energy, don't worry about it because you're in the right place. Temperance is also a card that brings balance and it in some ways brings in justice. That Archangel Michael, though, is a truly a protective energy, a protector. And so it's safety, it's security, and also helping you discover your life's purpose. And so as you move along in this, you also may find that you're a bit more unconditional. You're not as tied to conditions as maybe you've been previously. And so you work hard here. Anything that you've done to maintain that spiritual and mental and emotional balance is going to pay off. Because with this, you make positive changes. And so I do feel like with this, you may, like I always say, wear the world like a loose-fitting garment. You're easy about things. Now, in a relationship, too, because you're attracting somebody who has their life together, it's a relationship that's easy to be in because you're not wondering, you're not having to check out, do background checks on them and stuff. You can tell, hey, this is somebody who I went to their work and they've got their diplomas up. I don't have to question, you know, this is not, they're not trying to fool anyone here. And so if it is healing that you need with the heart, you're going to have it, Libra. So this emperor energy, this powerful, strong energy, he challenges, okay? So I do feel like if somebody's trying to do something screwed up 
it just will not fly in this reading. Okay, whatever it is around you, it will be challenged. And so with the emperor, he's also though, so he's authority, right? He's authority, but he's also structure and discipline. And so I feel like you're entering into a time in your life where you really appreciate that. You really appreciate being able to trust people for what they say. And so you may find too, especially with the energy of temperance and making more careful decisions, even if you've had a couple of haywire people in your path, I just see you as continuing to move forward. And so he's the great architect of the universe. So with this too, you may find that you attract just the right people. If you need to get a job done, you're doing it. And now with this five of pentacles, like I said, I feel like this is very much connected to the seven of swords. It's somebody around you. I called it the walk of shame earlier. Then with their head bowed, if they have to do a, I see somebody carrying like a banker's box. I don't know where you live, but they're like, where I live, they're like little white boxes that you assemble. And it's like somebody carrying out the stuff from their desk with their head kind of downward and downtrodden. But look, they made their own bed. And even though it's hard to watch, I still feel like with this, it's kind of one of those things where you go, it's like a horror movie where you're trying to warn warn the character and they don't want to listen. They want to do it their own way. Well, I do feel like you're more of a spectator on that one. So with this seven of wands, this pushes forward victory security. Okay, so if there's something insecure around you, I just feel like you're going to be protected. And in terms of relationships, like I said, I feel like you have somebody coming in who's made their own life. They're not looking to be rescued. They're not looking to have a partnership so that they can be leveled up. They're already there. And so if you're meeting some duds, those are those little wands along the way. That's just what they are. They're just little wands. And so I feel like with the um, King of Swords here, this is very much the energy of truth, justice, fairness. But it's also to an energy of kind of not caring what people think about you. So again, like I said, you may be living life on your own terms here, but it's a wonderful energy because it's solid. And so I do feel like as you move along, you may be a bit shrewd if you're on a dating app where it's like, eh, not for me. But I feel like ultimately it's leading you towards somebody that will be a match. All right, what else does Libra need to know? Messages, please, for Libra. Guidance for Libra, please. All righty, you have here improving health, okay? Mind, body, spirit, like we said. It's up to you. You're going to be out living life on your own terms. I got that down here. And you have remained positive. So if there's something going on around you, you're being led to that new beginning with the energy of temperance in the near future, they say, and you've got... Choose a new direction. So again, you may be using your discernment, that psychic energy to pick your path, but I do feel like you're going to pick the right one. Good things are on the way for you, Libra. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.